Hello guys, this is Vaish. So the quality NCRT series, we had uh, done class 6th for you and now we are going to start with class 7. So in case you have not seen uh, the previous ones, uh, just go on YouTube and search like Vaish is NCRT, uh, polity, history, geography, whichever you want, you search Vaish is NCRT space and that subject name, uh, the lectures will come out. Okay, it's all completely free lecture. Like you can see the class 6th which we did, uh, around 9 chapters were there in that uh, uh, playlist and that was completed and then uh, we had kept it on hold. So now class 7th, okay, and this NCRT textbooks also, it is there in the uh, NCRT website free of cost. You simply type NCRT uh, class 6th textbook, one link will come, click on that link and there class uh, drop down is there, class 6, 7, 8, whichever you want, you can select the textbook name, everything, edition, everything will be there. So I have taken the latest uh, class 7th, which is if you can see rationalization happened after uh, COVID-19 and all, the uh, this thing came, the National Education Policy 2020. So uh, they are streamlining to make the books lighter and to remove unwanted sections in the chapters and all. So they have, that they have done and so the latest edition, very latest 2024 edition textbook I have taken. So this is the social and political life textbook number 2. Okay, class 6 was textbook number uh, 1. Okay, the uh, cover all the uh, cover of the book also will be like this, like behind me you can see this is the cover. Okay, social and political life 2. So, when you open the textbook, the first thing you will see that uh, always in NCRTs they will either list the preamble or the fundamental rights or the fundamental duties and uh, students usually ignore it. But nowadays, if you see in the prelims, they are asking very minute things of this also. Like, is there a fundamental duty in which uh, wildlife is mentioned or environment is mentioned? So, you should know that there will be something related to that. Okay, if you see the point number G, in that it will be like a rich heritage, uh, sorry, uh, natural environment, including forest, lake and wildlife. So like that, there is a fundamental duty. And also you should know this is of part 4 of the constitution and it is article 51A, meaning we had an article 51 already, which is a DPSP, up to DPSP. And after that, uh, uh, during the Indira Gandhi time, 42nd Amendment 1976, which is also called the mini constitution because that was the biggest change to the constitution. Okay, because you would have seen in now election rallies and all people telling like uh, uh, the next government will come and change the constitution and many things will be changed. If in fact, if you take the history, more than 100 times constitution has already been amended. Okay in which I think more than 80 times it is done by uh, the people who are ruling before uh, 1990s, you can tell, till then th that many amends, amendments were done. And in that also, 30-40 amendments were done during the time of Indira Gandhi time alone. So there, they have inserted this uh, thing called fundamental duties, which was not there in the original constitution. And then that time, it was up to point number J, that is the 10 uh, pointers, okay. After that, the point number K, this was actually, here you can see, it was added uh, in uh, again uh, in 2002 by the uh, constitutional amendment 86th amendment which happened in 2010 that is when they added the last one so that last one is again important it's about education okay a parent or guardian uh, has to provide opportunities uh, for education of child okay and age is between 6 and 14 years so this kind of minute thing also in state level exams it has come okay like whether it mentions up to 0, 6, 0 to 6 years old or 6 to 14 years old so that kind of things also is very minute and because UPS is also becoming like state exams now asking factual things you have to know this okay so that is why I am telling, don't ignore these uh, front pages and all. And then preamble, obviously, uh, everyone will know preamble, uh, we the people of India, that thing complete, you have to buy heart also because sometimes in UPSC interview, they will make you tell this also. Okay. And here only thing is, uh, uh, other than the original version, two changes again in the same uh, 42nd amendment of 1976, uh, they have added two words here, socialist and secular. Okay. Because originally it was uh, sovereign democratic republic. Okay. Sovereign democratic republic. This is what Ambedkar constitution had. But Indira Gandhi added the word socialism and secularism okay for uh, various reasons it was done and many uh, years it is being like debated that it has to be removed also so maybe in the future you will see like it is again getting removed also because we are not not a socialist country okay we are because socialism countries will never reach anywhere they will never uh, reach uh, like a successful developed country and all so we are a mixed economy socialist uh, uh, capitalism everything is there so maybe that will get removed okay secular i'm not sure what will happen uh, to the future and then here one more word is there uh, integrity okay earlier it was the individual and the unity of the nation it was, but unity and integrity was again added with the same time when this socialist and secular was added. Okay, socialist, secular and integrity. These are the three words added in 1976 under the 42nd amendment. Okay. So, this is the basics about the introduction of the textbook. Now, today we will learn about equality. The first chapter is equality. So, based on that also one question, if you see, 
right to vote and to be elected in India is a what? Okay, this question was asked in uh, 2019 in UPSC also, in West Bengal PSC also and Madhya Pradesh PSC also. All three exams asked the same single question, same verbatim, same options they were asking. Okay, so here the answer at the end of this video I will tell. If you know it already, you can pause and uh, comment in the below okay, comment section. So, right to vote and to be elected in India is a fundamental right, natural right, constitutional right or legal right. Okay, so you have to choose the best one because you will feel like maybe two of them are correct. In that best one you have to do because it is an ABCD type question. Okay. And again, as I told, if you need more lectures, just type in the uh, YouTube. Okay. Vaisha is NCRT, Vaisha is Spectrum, Vaisha is Lakshmi Kant. Everything is completely free. More than 2000 plus lectures are there in our uh, channel. Many of you who are newly joined in our WhatsApp and all, they don't know that these many lectures are there. Okay. Anything which you want and most of them in both uh, English and uh, English version is there. Okay. Pure Hindi is not there. Our slides will be always in English, but the uh, teaching, the teacher will be talking in English in the English version and Hindi in the English version. Okay. So, if you see Arash Sharma, Satish Chandra, Tamil Nadu, NCRT of class 6 to 12th, Fine Arts, uh, Nitin Singhani also almost 40 chapters were done and then if you see Polity, uh, Environment in both languages, NCRT, Geography in both languages. So, these are all available free of cost in our channel. So, those who watched our foundation, they will know all this but most of the people, you skip the foundation and that is why you think that uh, nothing is offered here. Okay, you should know how much big uh, channel Vaishayas is and there is already I think 2200 plus uh, videos uh, free of cost in the channel and it will get added. Okay, and these are all revision series also, Geography mini series. Series, uh, art and culture revision series, CSAT previous year solved, then uh, the previous year's uh, morning paper 2016 to uh, 20 and 21 also it is midway now that also I will complete and mostly uh, remaining episodes will come before prelims, okay, this prelims. So now again, if you are a 2024 aspirant, I won't recommend you to watch this series now itself because from basic NCRTs, uh, questions may not come in your prelims. Okay, this is for basic understanding for the beginners. So 2025 aspirants onwards can watch the series now. Others, if you fail the 2024 exam, then again, when you are starting from scratch, you can again get back here. Okay. So, articles, you know, article 14 to 18, these are all in your Lakshmi Kant is there and you have to study. In NCRT, these are not mentioned. I am just, uh, just to uh, begin, okay, just for a heads up, I am showing you this. That basic uh, right to equality things are under article 14 to 18. First, you should know that article 14 to 33, that is full of the fundamental rights. After 33 to till 50 or 51, it is DPSP, Directive Principle of State Policy. Then 51A, I showed you fundamental duties were inserted. And after that 52 onwards, the President article will start. This understanding of article 1 to 5, over 300 and something is there, that many articles you should know by heart. Okay, you have to know. If you are a very serious aspirant, you have to know. Okay, article 1 onwards. So, here if you see uh, the right, uh, that equality before law is there. Here preventing discrimination is there. Here uh, employment and opportunity is there. Here, uh, uh, untouchability is there and here uh, titles okay meaning this Raja, Rai, this kind of th titles used to exist with people's name that and all has been abolished okay even now people maintain it in certain areas of Rajasthan and UP, Bihar and all but that and all uh, is abolished actually legally. So, this is the basic introduction of the uh, five articles of uh, right to equality okay. So, this also you should make some trick to remember this okay like this one is like L and uh, the next one is like discrimination D and this is opportunity O, this is untouchability and then T title. Okay. So, we uh, usually in our uh, classes and all we used to tell like uh, L doubt. Okay. L, L doubt. So, L O D U L D O U T. Okay. L D O U T. So, that way you should remember the five articles. So, now again before going to the textbook, article 14, uh, the basic uh, definitions, if you split it, it, it can be like equality before law, it can be equal protection of law and it is access to justice also. Okay. So, <coughs> equality before law means no man is above the law, meaning right from the president till a very uh, basic common man, everybody are same in front of the law, then equal protection of laws, that is the uh, like should be treated alike, Okay, meaning again, it does not mean hardcore equality. Okay, There is something which is a positive concept, that is uh, there will be people who cannot be treated equally, maybe economically they are backwards, socially they are backward, that is why reservations have come up. Okay, you know now social based reservation is there for SCST and uh, uh, SCST and little bit of OBC and this thing and economic wise reservation is there for OBC, you know the creamy layer, non creamy layer and the EWS category which newly came. So, they are economic reservation. So, equality does not mean hardcore everybody treated equally, based on situations there can be little bit changes also, that is why it is called equal protection of law, meaning you should be treated as and how your situation is. Okay. That 
that is why we have special uh, law for children special law for minors special law for women so equality don't think it is like hardcore uh, equality okay and then in front of judicial system you are all equal everybody has the equal right to uh, get uh, this thing okay the justice so that is why we have uh, nalsa kind of other uh, judicial things also which you will study in the uh, higher classes okay so now going to the textbook this textbook what it contains the class 7th chapter 1 the chapter name is equality so in the introductory page they will write like the constitution of india guarantees equality to all citizens earlier earlier you would have uh, discussed about equality but that time you would just by hearted definition now as per like what is practiced in the various communities what is the ground level that level kind of discussion in class 7th they will do and government is also passing laws it's not like the constitution has given some article and it is constant it's not like that laws will be made by the uh, government and people has to follow and it's not like only here this discrimination and these things are happening globally also including countries like usa even now they have problem of like blacks versus white people okay like here maybe it is caste issue or religion issue there it is the color and race issue okay so uh, one thing you have to know is this equality democracy are not static concept okay many people think it is static it is not static it is dynamic because government is passing laws government is passing different different laws each day and so it is a dynamic subject now going to the next or the first page of this uh, chapter the indian constitution recognizes every person as equal okay that i already told you that based on caste religion tribe education you will not be discriminated okay so in democratic india the principle of equality of all persons is recognized earlier no law exist existed for protecting the people from discrimination or ill treatment but now there are several you know over the years as and when the need came for uh, maybe uh, disabled people women children old age people senior citizens uh, for uh, farmers for everyone we have something we have given some benefits so that everybody comes on the same page okay that is a word called equity also okay equity and equality that is a difference equality means we are blindly telling everybody are equal but that is not correct okay this uh, new wealth distribution plan and all you would have heard like take money from one person and give it to other that way doesn't work that is called socialism which actually is a failed concept you cannot take a, a person from a, a money from a hard working person and give it to a, a lazy person okay you have to give it equally as per the work they do so that is the difference between equality and equity okay so now again uh, going forward the provisions in the constitution okay again i am telling about the same uh, equality so they have given in a, a little bit uh, four pointer way okay the first one every person is equal before the law every person from the president of country to till the domestic worker has to follow the same laws at the first point which i already told you second point nobody can be discriminated on the basis of religion race caste place of birth or their gender okay these are the five things written in article 15 also so you should know exactly these five things okay if you see a uh, place of residence and all is not there so that kind of things they will trick you in the prelims options okay then third one every person has equal access to all the public places okay whether it is a uh, common uh, well or drinking water or uh, playgrounds or hotels because even now if you go to certain areas i have gone actually in uh, orissa in bihar and all even now in villages and all they even have very strict difference between the caste meaning an st person if they go to uh, try to build a house somewhere if that area is occupied by full general category people they do not do not actually allow okay they do not allow this person to live in peace same like that if an st person starts a restaurant these higher caste people don't go and eat from their restaurant i have seen it personally that's why i'm telling okay don't think everywhere everything has become equal that is why even now reservation we are not taking away even now there are people who may be money may, they may be earning but still now respect they have not been able to get in certain village areas it's now i'm not telling completely about a state in certain areas of the villages i have gone in orissa and bihar that is why i'm telling okay so fourth one untouchability okay that and all you know untouchability long back from mahatma gandhi's time they are telling abolished but even i think that is kind of gone okay untouchability is kind of gone that uh, you will not drink water from the same uh, vessel or same bowl that level may have gone but still uh, in public places there are discrimination when you go to reside in a particular place okay so now Uh, going forward here also one movie scene they have put actually uh, you would have seen that divar movie of amitabh bachchan where the uh, rich person after shoe polishing uh, throws the money on the ground he tells uh, i don't take money from the ground you have to give it in my hand with so that my dignity is uh, protected okay so that uh, scene they have uh, borrowed here in this uh, particular uh, thing okay then mm, the two ways in which government has tried to implement equality in our country one i i told it is through the law we are passing certain law like this act disabled act that act this act we are passing lot of act in the parliament then we are doing government schemes okay so schemes also a very good example you will see in the next slide so a uh, scheme is there and these schemes are to ensure that the people get good opportunities which they did not get in the past okay that is why we are doing schemes okay even now we are giving like uh, ration for these many people and all so that they are pulled out of poverty so that uh, that thing is called schemes 
So now the biggest scheme or the uh, most important scheme when it comes to equality or these kind of things is midday meal scheme, which actually Tamil Nadu implemented for the first time in 2001. And then after that, uh, the government told every Supreme Court told everybody should implement in every state. And that is one of the most excellent schemes which has come in our country. Okay, midday meal scheme. And that has many advantages also because uh, that uh, made the enrollment level of children. Okay, children enrolling and regularly attending school increased because at their home, they may not have like this hot cooked meals and all they may every day not get. So at least the children will get meals. So the uh, parents will send them forcefully uh, to the schools. Okay. So for, just for the lunch, at least they will go because earlier it was like lunch break time. These people will go home for eating food and then they will not come back. Okay. That was the situation. So that is point number one of midday meal scheme, which uh, made the enrollment uh, rate high. So attendance also obviously will improve. The mothers also earlier used to come and interrupt the classes and all to give the food and all. So that also reduced. Then uh, the caste level things also reduced because all the children, no matter what their caste is, they will sit together and eat. Okay. And even to promote to this uh, anti-caste thing and all, uh, Dalit uh, woman or Dalit uh, male will be appointed as the chef who will cook the food also. So they, the, because there are, I told you, there are certain places if Dalit makes the food, many people won't eat it. So from childhood, you are uh, developing uh, this thing of equality and sense of equality in these uh, children that it is going a long way and when they grow up also uh, they will uh, not have this caste barriers okay so the poor students uh, another thing is their concentration level in classrooms if they don't eat good food they don't be able to concentrate so after food uh, came hot cooked meals they are able to concentrate also so these are the four five pointers if you see question also here can you list three benefits of this program okay so three four points i itself told you so in case you get a question directly in interview or directly anybody ask you you should be in a level to answer these kind of things okay that is the sign of a good aspirant that is without looking somewhere, you should be able to explain it to a third person. Okay, because many students ask me, how can I be confident that I already studied everything? What if I forget in the exam hall? You have to do this only. Once you study something, then you should be able to teach that to a second person without looking anywhere. Meaning somebody comes and asks you, like, what is electoral bond? What is this whole issue going on? What is uh, uh, CAA Act? Why is this many issues going on? What are the three farm bills? You should be without looking any paper, you should be able to explain. This is the first farm law. This is the second. This is the third. So people had this opinion. People had that opinion. So finally, this happened and finally, the bills were uh, taken back, bills were withdrawn. Okay. Going ahead, uh, the caste issues which I was talking about. So, the attitude of people changes very slowly. That is the main reason that this is not being able to be solved even after these many years. Okay. The SAST reservation I told you, it was there for a few years, then it got extended, 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 and it's still there because the people's attitude towards this uh, issue, okay, is still not changing. Okay. Economic status are improving and uh, still uh, uh, women are maybe uh, treated inferior or the disabled people are looked upon or the caste level people are looked upon. So, uh, different problems are there and you should know that no one is inferior to anyone. Every person deserves to live in dignity. And that is why uh, this government is doing many things. If you see, including the uh, manual scavengers or people who do cleaning of the streets, everyone have been given their respect and uh, different schemes are there specifically for them, especially to give loans to them, especially to uplift their life. So everything is being taken care over the years. Every government has done this and this government is also continuing it. So uh, establishing you know, a democratic uh, thing. Okay. It's a very like a continuous struggle and uh, it is uh, not alone in uh, here. I told you in USA also it's there, which we'll uh, discuss uh, uh, now that is in USA. Uh, the blacks were treated because you know the first first time uh, in American area uh, American continent story if you know there nobody were living only red Indians old uh, people were living okay brown people you can call they were living then the Europeans took the foreigners and took and settled them there and then white people came there same like that from Africa they took slaves uh, as slaves they took the people and then uh, uh, put it there so this uh, black people brown people white people everybody then evolved as a society gained independence and but even after gaining independence because the whites were majority and they were not slaves but the blacks were slaves they they have that mentality even now okay even now there are problems in certain areas of usa that uh, the black people are uh, looked up looked down upon okay the african people african descendants are uh, looked down upon so here in ambedkar's picture also they have shown ambedkar's two quotes and all again same thing it's about self-respect and uh, uh, dignity and uh, people should be uh, uh, having a chance to better their own life okay these are the kind of things which he kept on telling so that maybe in your essay or maybe in mains they can ask a question by giving this quote they'll give so you should know at least that this is ambedkar's quote Okay, at least that much you should have because they won't tell you like whose court it is. They'll give you a court and tell like explain. So you should know that this is a Ambedkar court. Again, you can uh, just uh, pause it and read it. I'm not uh, uh, explaining. Okay, you can see the uh, court behind me. You can uh, screenshot this and then uh, read it later. Okay. 
the just the same it is uh, uh, the equality and discrimination and all those things so 1950s is the time when first time for equality uh, these african people in america started to fight for it you can see this lady this lady uh, decided i will not get up from this seat because there was a rule there that when uh, 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 black people are sitting there and suppose white person enter the bus then the black person has to get up and uh, go back and go behind and sit okay but this lady uh, if you see uh, rosa parks okay she was alive till 2005 rosa parks that time uh, refused to give of the seat in uh, december 1955 and then the agitation against this thing started and then this uh, movement which is called the civil right movement okay it's a very like we have india like quit india movement and all for usa people there's a very big movement civil right movement okay so that uh, uh, started and it was like uh, an act was passed 1964 and it prohibited the discrimination of uh, anything basis of uh, race religion or national origin okay so that is also there in indian law you did not see this word called national origin but there that was the issue so national origin was mentioned okay so then uh, schools uh, earlier and all were separate schools for africans and separate schools for uh, americans so then this thing problem got solved but again uh, you know these american schools and all it was like very costly private schools and all so african students even though the law uh, ended the discrimination these african children who are uh, poor compared to white people they uh, african americans i'm talking about okay so african americans they could not afford the schools even after discrimination went away so that also took a long time for private schools to normalize everything and then every kind of children uh, from every place uh, study at the same place okay so in democracy as i told a lot of challenges are there and uh, no country can be fully uh, democratic also there will be always certain exceptions and there will be certain Uh, things which you have to do for the lower strata of the society so that they can uh, rise up okay so never uh tell a blind uh, thing of like fully democratic fully socialist fully secular fully that can never happen in any country okay so article 15 the detailing they have again put in this chapter okay remaining articles are not given that and all you will study as and when different different chapters are done so again discrimination based on this five things you have to buy heart religion race caste sex or place of birth okay so then again some uh, reservations kind of thing can be given and also here if you see the public places use of this thing is completely uh, 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 like equal equal it should be it not be like any discrimination. nation okay so it should be maintained wholly or partly out of the state fund okay and it should be dedicated to use of general public no nobody should tell like this is like a, a hindu thing or this is like a maybe a, a shias a thing in muslims or you should not discriminate anything based on any religion okay any religion or any caste so now Uh, they have given few terms at the end of this chapter that is uh, universal adult franchise that is why voting related question i asked you so adult all adults above the age of 18 can vote okay has the right to vote this also is one interesting thing about india that when we became independent we gave voting right to everyone without any discrimination nothing age 18 and above uh, anybody can vote okay so uh, earlier it was i think age 21 and above so that you can go and google okay like which is the correct age and when did it change to 18 and all but we gave to everyone but in other countries it was like first only the people who had property could vote or maybe only this many people could vote or maybe men alone cannot can vote that kind of rules were there in multiple countries but india is one sole country where everybody was given voting right equally and we have been able to do such a big democratic election without any issues over the years okay ours is the biggest democratic country if you know uh, population wise size wise everything and then we are able to do this much big, you see last two months election is going on it's not complete and still everything will be over and june for properly the evm counting will happen and finally result will be published okay without any issues even the foreign countries are shocked like how are you able to do this uh, this much management of this thing okay then dignity okay i told you it is kind of uh, self respect you are thinking about your own worth and respect constitution you know it is a document which is having all the basic rules and regulation for people to follow and civil right civil right movement i told you 1950s it started 1955 example i gave you 1964 one act came okay and right side they are giving a picture that picture is about a child being carried on uh, in the steps and all so that what is the problem there you don't have a accessible area okay now if you see there is a rule as per this government has brought uh, sugamya bharat abhiyan and also you have to make sure whether it's in theaters whether it is in mall there has to be that uh, slope kind of area also so that wheelchair can go you cannot every time lift them or cannot make them feel that you are dependent on someone you have to change that so even in trains railways everywhere uh, disability related uh, uh, divyang jan which we call now we have some provisions for them so that they have good access okay even in uh, voting areas now if you see everywhere wheelchairs are there everywhere that is there the rule is there i don't know whether everybody are following but rule is there that everywhere wheelchair should be there volunteer should be there to uh, make them uh, come and vote uh, comfortably and go okay so now 
at the end of the textbook questions are also there which again for your level it is not there uh, it is all class 7 students level but you should see these keywords which i have highlighted universal adult franchise you should know correctly article 15 you should know then equality before law what is the exact meaning of that then right of persons with disability act 2016 this one you have to now as a homework go and google and then you will get the prs website where all the clauses are there read that this is what this is how you will study simply you listening to this video and going away doesn't make you pass the exam you have to have the curiousness to learn more and as i told once you study you should be able to explain it to another person so go and read this act now what are the provisions given for disabled people and uh, how much is needed for an exam point of view you yourself read and make notes of it okay that is the homework for you and then first we saw a question right to vote it's a constitutional right okay why it's not a fundamental right because it's not written in between article 14 to 33 and it is not a natural right or a legal right okay legal right also in a way it is legal right because in the act and all it will be written but because you have to choose the best one constitutional right is the one which is it's, it's given in your constitution article number 326 tells that everybody has universal adult suffrage and that basically means you can write uh, you have right to vote but there is no explicit mention that right to vote word is not there so if UPSC ask you like uh, in uh, inverted comma like right to vote is mentioned in the constitution that may not be mentioned okay that's a different question here who gives you that right? It's the constitution which gives you the right. Okay. Then some more GK. National Voters Day is on uh, 25th January because that is the day when election commission was formed. And then different year, they'll have different theme. 2023 and 24, they have kept the theme constant. That is one reason I wanted to show you this. Okay. This and all, everybody won't teach you. So nothing like voting. I vote for sure. So that 2023 and 24 they kept the theme constant i think for the first time before that if you see every year it's a different theme okay 2018 19 20 21 22 it's a different theme 23 and 24 they have the same theme so that is the reason i wanted to show you this so i hope uh, this is helping you i have tried to put maximum effort not by just simply reading the ncrt giving examples giving questions giving uh, how to approach this thing everything will be there this is the same way i have been teaching for the last six seven years here on youtube for free so you can hit a like just to show that gratitude if you find this interesting and only then when you when i see a lot of participation i feel like doing the next chapter the many reason many of this playlist is incomplete is because you people did not support it okay it's completely free so you give your support i will make sure that you get the needed things for free so here join our test series which is the only paid thing which we have there uh, 2024 last batch is going 2025 24 anyway i don't recommend you to join now because in the next 20 days you are not going to anyway uh, study all the test okay current affair pack alone if you want you can come and ask me which you can buy 2025 onwards uh, you have to watch the foundation and all our lectures and i will uh, make sure that you get the best content here free of cost okay so thank you have a nice day